So we hear a lot about iron in the diet, and many people believe that the iron in spinach and the iron in meat are equal. Is that true? Not entirely. So both of them do contain iron, but it's in different forms. In meat, we see it in heme, H-E-M-E, and in the plant sources, it's more in a non-heme form. And what's the difference between the two? So our bodies can more easily gain the iron from meat in the heme form than in the plant forms. So we have a hard time utilizing the iron in the non-heme form. So does that mean we need to eat more spinach, for example, with the non-heme to get the same amount you get from meat? Well, that is an option. So for vegetarians who choose not to have a meat diet, they can eat up to almost 1.8, two times the amount of plant non-heme iron to get what we would get in a one serving size of the meat portion. So how important is iron really in the diet? So iron for us in our normal day-to-day -day lives, it helps us um, send oxygen to blood cells, rebuild blood cells, helps with our memory, thinking, cognitive function, but it's also very important for growing children. So if anemia is a problem when there's a lack of iron in the diet, so young children can have be anemic, which causes cognitive and thoughts thinking perhaps some developmental problems. Uh, pregnant women also as the fetus is developing, you know, it could cause some developmental problems, especially with brain development. Um, and then sometimes in our older population, we can see it as a problem as well for the same reasons. So it's very important to have iron in our diets. Well, how can we optimize absorption? So one of the great things about, you could pair meat and plant sources together, and um, we call it bioavailability or the meat effect. And so that's a nice way to be able to pull the heme and non-heme iron into our bodies. So meat helps you absorb iron it, from spinach. It does. Meat can help absorb the non-heme from spinach, and it also helps absorb zinc. So that's another benefit besides the iron. You can also pull the zinc from it through the perfect combination of meat and plant diets. And if you really don't want to include meat or poultry in your diet, is there a way to optimize the iron that you pull out of vegetables? There is. So if you pair a vegetable diet with uh, foods that are high in vitamin C, so citrus or other um, vitamin C nutrient dense items, uh, it helps pull the iron as well as zinc out. So for a vegetarian diet, a high vitamin C as well as the vegetarian based plant sources are a great fit. So what do you recommend in terms of nutrition to people who are looking for good iron? Well, I recommend, you know, that they get about 25 grams of a, some sort of a protein per meal. And, you know, whether that's in a plant or meat, but obviously the perfect combination, in my opinion, is a plant and meat meal base.